Now, last night, many of you will have seen Ukrainian President Vladimir Zelensky gave an historic speech to the House of Commons. We will fight till the end. We will fight at sea. We will fight in the air. We will defend our land, whatever the cost. We will fight in the forests, in the fields, on the shores, in the cities and villages, on the streets. Well, amazing standing ovation there. Um, it's been 14 days since Russia invaded Ukraine, 14 days of devastation and destruction, but also 14 days of incredible resilience from the Ukrainian people. And one of those people, Marishka Padalko, joins us live in Ukraine today. She's a presenter on One Plus One, that's Ukraine's main TV network. network. She's also a wife and a mother to three children. Uh, Marishka, thank you so much for joining us. I know this is a very, very difficult time for you. Can you just explain uh, to our... Thank you very much for um, having me and thank you very much for this amazing support that we've seen from Great Britain over the past two weeks and before and for that stand innovation of the British Parliament that really means a lot to us. And, and it's so good to hear you say that because we all watch on the horrors unfolding in your country and feel very, very helpless here. Um, can you explain to our viewers, um, I know you can't give too much detail exactly where you are, but where you are and what you're doing, because we said you are a, a news presenter on one of the main channels there, but I understand the channels are joining forces now. <laughs> You know, uh, I am actually work at the backup studio and uh, we have to pick up and fill in every time that when we have alert in, uh, in Kiev. And actually, guys, I know we've been preparing for this interview for a long time and making arrangements, but what we're hearing now in the studio that the airstrikes just... Uh, uh, announced uh, in the studio that is having live broadcast now, which means I have three minutes only to get ready to fill in. That's that's why I'm here. So I unfortunately I have to say goodbye and maybe join you on another occasion. Listen, I'm very sorry. Uh, absolutely, no, we totally understand. Um, the, so you're saying the sirens have just gone off and you're told there's an airstrike coming? Gone off in the place who are uh, broadcasting right now, a different place. So we're a backup studio, we have to fill in, you know, because yeah. they cannot broadcast any longer. No, That's no. why I'm saying goodbye. I never please. expected it may happen, but it happened. No, please, Marika, please go. Be safe. You and your colleagues are oh, good. We've got her back. Marishka Hi. Padalko. We're so pleased to see you sitting there, Marishka. Thank you for coming back to us. Can you just explain to everyone what happened then? Yeah, as we work in a backup studio, so we fill in every time our colleagues who work in a different studios cannot do their job because of air alerts. So that was uh, uh, air alert this time and uh, we had to be ready to go on live. But fortunately, uh, nothing happened and I'm back to you. I'm so pleased to see you back. While you were gone, Marishka, I was explaining to our viewers about you and your family, um, that you're, you're married, you have three children, your children are currently with your parents in uh, the west of Ukraine. You haven't seen them or your husband since the 24th of February. You must be incredibly worried about all of them and them about you. How are you coping? Uh, I am, you know, um, your one of your colleagues asked me this morning, uh, how, uh, how, how are you? And I didn't know actually what's the correct answer. Because in terms that I am alive, my children are alive, my parents are alive, and my husband gave me a call in, this morning. I think I'm great c comparing to people who are under heavy shelling, you know, like my friend near Kiev. But I mean, it's a new reality that we're getting used to. So, of course, we're not okay in terms of... Uh, this disastrous war that is going on, but we are trying just to pull ourselves together. And uh, I would agree with every word that I heard. You just quoted uh, our president from his speech to the British Parliament that it's our land and we're going to protect it. It was, the yeah, it was extraordinary listening to him um, mm -hmm. yesterday. He said, we'll fight them in the air, the forests, the fields and the streets. And the headline here in our Daily Mirror newspaper today, we will never surrender. Is that how you feel, Marishka? Why is it, it so important feel. for you it to stay feel. behind? You know, it's, uh, it's like everybody now is involved, all men, all women. Um, my husband has never been with the military before. But now he, he's been training for the last uh, uh, six months to be a part of the Territorial Defence Unit, which is actually backup for the army. And uh, 
some people decided that they're going to fight a few months ago, and some people they go and decided that they're going to fight the day the invasion happened. It's like now it's everybody's war. It's not it's not just for the army or for professional soldier, soldiers to defend. People are even uh, trying to defend their land armless, just with their flags, Ukrainian flags, going out to the streets where Russians are trying to capture big cities. Uh, fortunately, they failed so far, but we're doing our best uh, to win this war because that's the only way it can end. Marishka, is it possible for you to see an, a way out? Can you uh, see a positive, uh, you know, conclusion to this? Because some of the press here have said that the Russian army have faltered on the ground. You know, they've ground to a halt and that it's almost as if they, they're marooned in uh, Ukraine. Does it seem like that to you? Because obviously now they've switched to uh, bomb bombing you from the air. That's actually why they had to do this, because they were not successful. They never expected such kind of resistance. So I think that, I mean, their intelligence in terms of how people feel about uh, how people are going to meet them if they invade was very, very incorrect. And I think that even in Kremlin, that should be really disappointed that no one thinks that they are peacekeepers here, as uh, Putin was announcing them, that this mission actually failed. And even people in Eastern Ukraine that were supposed to be so-called pro-Russian, they uh, went out to the streets when it was Ukrainian flags and they were not afraid. And I think that's, that's why um, the Russian army had got so cruel with these airstrikes and uh, trying to intimidate people because people were fearless the first days yeah. and they're trying to intimidate by these airstrikes. Yeah. yeah. Marishka, um, our thoughts and prayers are with you and your family and, and all Ukraines. Can I just ask if you've got a message, perhaps, for, for us here in the UK, what that would be? I um, appreciate uh, every moment that you can spend with your family when you can talk about all this uh, uh, nice and sweet things that you were discussing in your studio while I was uh, expecting to join you on air. Um, I mean... Uh, just two weeks ago, uh, the thing that I was uh, not happy about is uh, whether I lost enough weight uh, before spring or whether I got uh, young enough for my age, you know. And now this uh, seems so senseless, senseless that I was even worried about this, you know. We have much more now appreciation for life that we have. And I think that people, not only in Great Britain, but in the whole world, need to appreciate their loved ones, their children, their families, and um, appreciate every day. And I think that's what we're going to do when we all reunite, hopefully, with my husband and with my children and with my parents. Um, and all of the messages of support from the UK and all around the world, do they get to you? Do, do they make a difference to you guys? Yes, because, you know, uh, the message of support, that the first ever message of support from overseas, from abroad, uh, when Russia invaded, was from my friends from London uh, who travelled to Kiev in 2018 for the Championship League final when Liverpool was facing Real Madrid in Kiev. And uh, all fans had huge difficulties uh, with booking a hotel or a place to stay. And uh, many Kiev families opened their homes uh, to people from London or from all over the world because Liverpool fans are everywhere. And that family always sends me messages of support and pictures from uh, and Road uh, with Ukrainian flags and saying the words of support. And you know, my uh, son is a football player himself, and uh, he's a great supporter for, for Liverpool. And um, of course, that's um, and Marishka, very important to hear. Yeah, talking of your son and your children, can you contact them? How, how much of this do they understand? How worried are they about you and your husband? Uh, could you repeat your question again? Because I think uh, yeah. I lost you for a few seconds. You were mentioning your son there and your children. How mm -hmm. is it easy for you to be in contact with your children? Can they talk to you? Can they talk to their father? Uh, they hardly talk to their father because he's not supposed to say where he is and he's not supposed to use mobile phones for security reasons as often as he would in his uh, normal life. Yes, I do talk to uh, to my children and I know it's... Um, 
it's hard on all children to comprehend uh, what is happening in their life. Uh, I think the best support they are now getting, it's not from me, who is uh, quite away from them, but from a cat that uh, traveled with them to Western Ukraine and reminds uh, them of home and uh, their regular life that they used to have. And can I ask you, you finally, why was it so important mm -hmm. for you, Marishka, to stay behind, to put yourself in danger, to be able to broadcast to the Ukrainian people? Because I believe it's my mission, because I've been a presenter for 20 years. And um, I think the day of invasion was the most important day in my life, it was the most important mission to go with my colleague and to be first people to announce that that happened. And hopefully um, our next mission will be to announce that Ukraine has won this war and that it's over. Well, I mean, uh, if you build this connection with the audience for so many years, you cannot just say, you know, I'm afraid I'm leaving, stay here by yourself, you know, because sometimes people who are locked in their houses and they're afraid of shelling and they stay at home, the only connection they have is a, a TV host that they've been seeing for so many years and they feel that they are uh, friends. So it's important for them to see us and for us it's important to give message to them. Well, I'm, I'm sure they appreciate that very much. Um, we hope you get that moment to be able to broadcast that it's over. And we'll share it with you and with the world. Yeah. We and hope thank so. you for um, support. Yeah, because we... we get all these messages, singing and playing Ukrainian and so on, the Trafalgar Square. And I know, actually, guys, I don't know, well, you know that uh, today the London TV tower has the Ukrainian flags. I mean, the Ukrainian colours on it. Oh, I saw we, the picture, so actually, thank you very much. I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm not sure if you can see our studio, but we have your Ukrainian colours oh, yes, here today. You, yeah, yeah. It's a very thank small very thing, much. Marishka, it's a very small thing, but we just want you to know that we're, we're all thinking of you. We would love to stay you in know, touch with you. I know you're, you're very busy and you've got to get back to your broadcasting. Yeah. Please stay safe as you can. And thank you so much for taking the time thank to talk you. to us and, and your colleagues. We thank wish you. you all well. Thank you. Stay safe. Thank you. Well puts everything into a lot of yeah. perspective, yes. doesn't it? It yeah. really does. Brave, brave woman and all her colleagues there, of, yeah. of course, being away from her children. And that's interesting, isn't it? She's saying when, you're, when you have that connection with an audience, it Not seems just wrong just to go, yeah. see you folks, I'm out of here. She's, yeah. that she feels important yeah. to stay and keep everybody informed.